Akronel the GCSS Army helpful tip and video. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you guys how to upload documents to a personnel file for all the G-Track certificates, appointment orders, whatever you may be, right? It was very helpful and handy. I had a request on asking me if there was a way to upload documents to work orders and notifications, right? So there is a way, and I'm going to teach you that way today. So this is extremely helpful for all you maintenance managers and even supply. Anyone can use this, right? So you can upload documents such as, you know, service work orders, right? You're able to actually upload the full service packet in the event that the service packet is lost. You have a digital copy in Jeremy that you're able to go into the attachment list and print it out. Same thing for, you know, deadlining 59H, right? So the regulation tells us we're supposed to maintain the work order with the 598 on file until the fault uh, is corrected, right? From start to finish, right? So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that today. So without further ado, let's jump inside of GCSS Army. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the uh, previous videos and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, leave some comments down below. I'm always looking for new ideas or what you guys want to learn. So here we are. We're just going to go into the equipment uh, sit report, right? I'm going to type in my UIC. Now there's multiple ways that you can get into a work order notification. You all are familiar with that. So I'm just going to pull all my open work orders here. And I'm looking for this one. This is the biannual service, right? So all I'm going to do is open it. Then up here, you'll see the service for objects, right? I'm just going to click it. So when this screen pops up, it says to start this chosen function, choose an application object and press continue. So what this is telling you, hey, what do you want to attach the document to? You can attach it to the notification or the actual uh, work order. So I'm going to do it to the maintenance work order, right? You'll hit OK. So then you'll get this little box pop, pop up right here. So if you look here, it says create. You'll hit create, right? You're going to create an attachment. Now you can also create notes in this too. Um, I mean, whatever your note may be, you know, um, initial road test performed, yada, yada, yada. Whatever you want to do as a note in the notification or the maintenance work order, you're able to do that. So I'm going to create an attachment. So make sure your attachment is, you know, saved to your desktop, is scanned in, all that stuff. And I'm just going to attach, uh, uh, I'm going to attach this just. So you'll get this little box, allow, right? So now it's attaching the document to the actual maintenance work order. Now, if you go to this one, attachment list, you're able to view your attachments. You can also leave a private note and you can actually send object with note. You can email it, okay? So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna attach, right? I attach, I'm gonna open the attachment up. Now, when the attachment opens up, you're able to print it. So if you save a whole service packet, it'd be right there for you. All right. So just keep that in mind. So this is extremely helpful. We all know in the maintenance shop office, for some reason, we seem to lose paperwork, right? This is another tool that you can use to help maintain those files and records and, you know, ARAMs. Everything's supposed to be filed in ARAMs, but if this file is not in the filing cabinet, you know, you leave the form and say, hey, the file is located in GCSS Army, attached to work order, yada, 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 right? So hope this video was helpful. Uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the videos that have already been posted. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go ordinance.